thanks for scaring the crap out of me. I really appreciate that. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. You Part of the deal. Your, you did your job, my friend. Oh. How was it, you know, when James came to you after The Conjuring? Of course, you shot mm. The Conjuring, and then Sidney Susan, you know James so well. You worked with him. Sure. And then he said to him, you know what? I want you to take the reins and direct Annabelle. What were you feeling? I was so happy. I was so thankful, so um, uh, touched, I guess maybe is the word. Because, you know, we're, we're friends, too. And for him to uh, have enough confidence in me to be the one to, you know, take the, the, the little movie that could mm. to where it is, uh, it just it touched me, I have to say. So what is it about a scary movie? What mm. are the, what's the, the main element to the scare us? What do you think it is? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's setting, it's, it, the, the main thing is to make it as real as possible. It set the audience in an environment that they believe it's real. Because if, it, if you believe it's real, then that opens the door to, to your soul, actually. Now, obviously, it's the story, the tone of the story, the, you know, the, the I mean, it, Annabelle, of course, is, you know, it's a, about a creepy doll. That immediately opens the door, you know. But, but it's, it's also um, the tone, and, and I have to say, Gary Darberm and our writer, the tone with the, the way he wrote the original draft, I could say things like, okay, please cut to black. Well, you know, in the description, it's like, yeah, we want, that's what we want to do to people, you know. It was very cool. Yeah. So it was a combination of things. And, you, you know, you hit the jackpot with your cast, too, because I have to say, oh. your lead actress, and, and ironically, who her, her name is Annabelle, I mean, that must have led for a lot of jokes on set. It did. <laughs> it did. But she, wow, your heart really goes out there. I mean, she, not only is she oh. gorgeous to just shoot oh. and everything, but you really do feel for her. She, wow, she must have worked her ass off with this film. She did, you know. I uh, I, I, I saw her, her read, um, you know, via email from London, because she's British, you know, and had an amazing American accent. And I, I, it was weird because there was, I, I could just tell, um, finally, when, when the camera pushed in at one point and she was in a half light and I got to see her eyes. The moment I saw what her, her eyes were really doing, because, you know, she's in every scene in the movie, almost. And, and you know, I, I just, we Skyped on Christmas morning and I met her through Skype after that. And it's like, oh my God, she, number, she's a pro. She's tr trained. She's beautiful. She fits the look too. The thing about this movie that's very important is that it's, it, it's a throwback to the movies like Polanski's, you know, Rosemary Baby uh, of that time, just like this movie takes place in around that time. And I, 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 I even, I even think I could see. I, I was thinking about Mia Farrow a lot in Rosemary's Baby for this, and I could just see her as a, not literally that, but you know, poor, you know, just creating that that uh, that 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 character. Yeah. I guess. You what know? was the first movie that scared you? Big time, The Exorcist. I slept on my parents' floor in the front of their bed that night. That yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. It got me. Well, you've done it with this one. <laughs> oh, Congratulations. Cool. And for a girl who can't handle scary movies, I'm glad I made it through the night last night. So that's all good. All right. Oh, <laughs> so nice so to meet much. you.